boys and girls hairstyles. Um, today I have Maylee with us and I wanted to show you a really fun cute haircut for a little girl. Um, you can see how her front um, is shorter than her back. You can turn her around here. Um, the back's long, this front short. So what we want to do with her cute little face is bring this back up. We're going to do a bob. Um, let me turn it this way. And you're going to want to wet it down first. And this will be a stack bob also. Okay, so put their head down. Check out their, and her uh, hairline is awesome. It's up so we can bring it, you know, down without any, any hassles. Okay. So now make sure their head is straight. And then just take that straight across the back. You can see that. Okay, and now we're getting to the side. I'm going to lift her head up. I'm going to start to angle that a tiny bit. So in the back, you're going to go straight across. The side, you're going to start to angle. Okay, so you can see this was the shortest um, part of her hair, and now we're catching this side up to it. Okay, now again, just cut straight across here, and then when we get to the sides, start to angle down. Then lift the head up. And then you can see that just meets that front, the shortest piece here. Okay, now what I want to do is take from the top of her ears straight across. fingers out. If you want it stacked in more, you know, you're going to see that that's going to fall this way. And that's about how stacked we want it. Okay, then you're going to take the next section. And the hair you cut before, you can see underneath the new hair that you're pulling back. Okay, this hair on the side, I'm combing straight back. Just because I want that to fall um, a little bit longer on the sides there. Okay, now I'm going to take the other section on the other side. And again, you can see the hair underneath the guideline. Okay, take all the hair straight back. There's the guide point right there. She's got some curl going on there. Okay, now take another section of that hair. Here, I'll just do it when I comb here. Again, take a section in the middle and make sure you keep coming up with that angle. See how I'm just coming straight up this way? Okay, 
same thing. Just keep following the guideline there. This will be a fun back to school. She gets to go to preschool, so this is a fun little cut. You'll see after I get done cutting it how fast it is to dry it out. Okay, same thing, other side. Okay, pull it straight back. Now we're going to take the top, take the middle section, okay, and you're going to hold this out and you can see down here where that's cut. Okay, you're going to angle and then when you get, um, when you get to the back of the head going up towards the top, then you're going to angle it and turn it um, to a 90, which is just straight away from the head and then hold that straight up this way. Okay, we're here and start angle. Do your angle at a 90 straight away from the head. Again, with your slides, um, you know, pull straight back and up so they fall longer. straight back and up okay now when we go to dry it we might want to take a little bit more this way so it's more angled um, so we'll see in just a minute okay now I'm going to grab this top and I want her front to come down, you know, to frame her face. So I'm going to take from this part that we've cut up to the very front. So that's going to be the longest part that falls. So I'm taking this hair in between and that's how you connect the back to the front. But yet it will still fall along. Just angle that up. Other side. Now I'm going to just come straight out this whole side and you can see where this layer is here. I'm just going to point cut a little bit into that. Don't take that length off, just point cut into it. So that connects the sides. Again, just hold this straight out. Take a little bit of that corner off. Okay, now what we're going to do is add a little bit of mousse. And what we want to do when we're done is check that back. Um, we're obviously going to want to check our sides, make sure that they're, you know, totally even.
And if you're not sure if you want to take more off the back, just do it like I'm doing, you know, keep it a little bit longer. Then after it's dry, if you want to take it up a little bit, you can, but then that way it's not off. You can't put it back on. Okay, so I put the add volume just in her hair. That's just going to make it fuller. sides up.
super cute. Okay, now I'm just going to check um, the sides now that it's dried. Um, since I cut that shorter, just make sure that that back and these sides line up. Make sure you still angle on that. Okay, we'll do this side. Okay, and just make sure your front is even and your back here. Oh, so cute. Okay, now I'm going to take just a tiny bit um, of this manipulator. It's from Bedhead. Um, she has just a little bit of flyaways. So I'm just putting a tiny bit of this on. And then. I am going to tease this just a tiny bit. You don't have to. You can leave it if you want. Um, I just think it'd be so cute with a little bit of volume. Okay, and then this is a good way to catch all that hair up with this side hair. Now this stuff that was short is the longest you know, part of her hair. So anyway, I'm going to spray this. And then I will turn her around so you can see her. See the cute little bob that's stacked. Oops, sorry, sweetheart. Okay. So anyway, have a great day, and thank you so much for watching. Give them a cute smile. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>